on guys? I'm Jake here with uh, Wilshire Gun Zero In. Today we're going to talk about some of the basic points of cleaning your pistol. I got here in front of me a uh, six hour P320 and we're going to break it down and we're going to give it a, we're going to take a look on the inside, look at some of the components and uh, go over some of the cleaning procedures that you need to do to make sure your gun keeps running day to day. Uh, so most uh, modern striker fired pistols come apart the same way. You just hit the takedown lever or whatever takedown mechanism they have. Pull them apart. It's going to come into two pieces. Your frame and your slide. In your, in your slide you're going to have your recoil spring. Just pops right out. And then your barrel. Barrel comes out. And right here, as far as we have it taken apart, is everyday maintenance. That's as far as you're going to need to get into it. You're not going to need to get into the firing pin or down here in the frame or any of the trigger mechanics. Uh, basically what we're cleaning here are the moving parts that have friction and where carbon builds up from you know the gunfire. Uh, usually I start with just an overall squirt down you get you some kind of solvent I think this one's hoppies in a squirt bottle and we're just gonna hit that just nice and nice and just cover everything up. And what these uh, what these solvents do a lot of that carbon a lot of that copper that gets built up in your gun as it fires you're going to let that sit for a couple minutes and it'll break down that carbon allowing you to brush it out. And while we're waiting on, uh, waiting on that to break down, let's talk about some of the equipment I actually have to, uh, to actually do the cleaning. Now a lot of guys, you see these big cleaning kits with all these swabs and rods and brushes and knobs and whatever. You don't need all that. Here's what I clean guns with. A brush. It can be a brush specifically for cleaning guns like this one. A toothbrush. Just some sort of brush. A towel. This is not a towel. This is a T-shirt that's been ripped up. And my no my number one, Q-tips. Just everyday Q-tips. Stick them in your ears. Stick them in your guns. Great buy. All right, guys. So now our our uh, our solvent's been sitting a little bit. You can kind of see that carbon is is running. And this gun is extraordinarily dirty. It's one of our range guns, so it gets lots of love. But once your carbon starts to break up, step one, you take your brush and you break up anything that's sticking and you just go to town. Just anything that doesn't look like it's supposed to be there is not. So we want to remove that. And you kind of see I'm getting that nice and loose. We're going to break that down. That's just a nice plastic or polymer brush. Scrubbing all that down and we're going to wipe all this out. Be it Q-tips or however. You can see now that we've knocked a lot of that loose, and it should be free moving around. As I, as you see, I drag my brush through all the gunk. You can see it's not really sticking; it's just kind of there. We're gonna brush the uh, the frame out here too, and the trigger group. Now, like I was saying, the points you want to clean basically the entire bottom of the slide here, whatever is visible on the slide, you want to give that a scrub along the trigger group here. Uh, right back here in the the rest of the trigger mechanism. We don't want to stick anything really down in the magazine well. Uh, we don't want a lot of debris down in there. Because um, that's going to cause, that could potentially cause uh, malfunctions in the weapon because you've gunked up your magazine well, which gets in your magazine, which causes it to stop working. We don't want that. But we just give it a nice scrub right here along the rails. Get all that carbon out of there. And with these FDE guns, you can really see how dirty they are because it, it shows up. And give the barrel a scrub here. Uh, we'll spray a little more right on there. Uh, some of the places you really want to focus on on your barrel is definitely your feed ramp. That's going to get really dirtied up. We're going to wipe all that out. Top of your barrel, um, basically the locking surface. We're going to get that nice and clean. This one's not too bad. Yeah, see, it just wipes right off. We'll get the brush. Right there, we'll hit that feed ramp. Nice and brushed out there. Get your towel, wipe it off. You can see a lot of that's come off. Just, just simple brush and wipe. That solvent, solvent change your life. Make it a lot easier. Um, some guys run barrel or bore snakes down their barrel. You can. You can do it with a Q-tip. I mean, you can do it with anything. This one's. Uh, not too bad. Somebody obviously ran one through here at some point here recently. 
Uh, but you can get your uh, boar snake, the caliber you have, run it through there once or twice. And that's all there really takes for that. Now once you've brushed all your debris uh, loose, that's where your towel comes in and your Q-tips as well. Basically you want to wipe all that debris out of your frame and slide. We want to get all of that out of there so then we can reapply our lubrication and get the gun running happy again. Clean gun's a happy gun. You can see that, I mean, it just, it wipes right off. And for them hard to reach places, you get you a Q-tip. And I'll tell you this, I've battled with this more than once. Your Q-tip will never come out perfectly white as soon as it touches the gun. It doesn't matter how many Q-tips you use on the gun. You'll be here all night Q-tipping your gun if you try to make sure that nothing comes out of the gun it just won't happen and that's not necessarily a problem as long as there's not visible obstruction and debris in the gun you're gonna be all right really get down there in the rails um, obviously one of the biggest parts in uh, the moving the moving parts of the gun would be the rails uh, and that's where a lot of the malfunctions can happen. Your second one, uh, kind of where I was talking about on the frame, is your firing pin channel, which right here on the back, you'll notice there's a little bitty hole there. We don't want to spray any lubricant or cleaning uh, solution down in there because you're not going to be able to get to it without disassembling the gun further. And then it's going to potentially gunk up your firing pin and you're going to get light strikes. So if you do need to brush that, make sure you just angle your gun basically down and away from your brush. This way gravity allows anything that comes loose, it's going to fall down on your mat or your table and not up into your firing pin channel. And just like I said, just a quick brush, quick wipe, nice and clean. Final wipe here. And you can tell night and day difference even just in that quick scrub I gave that, you know, we're not gonna, I'm not gonna keep you guys here all day cleaning these guns out to perfection. We're gonna get it to a functioning state where I would, I would feel comfortable, you know, strapping it on and taking it out for the day. Wrap all that carbon off frame. Q-tips here down in the nooks and crannies. Just getting anything that looks like debris out of there, we're gonna just kind of scoop that out. And sometimes the carbon will build up and uh, if you let carbon sit for too long, it's eventually gonna solidify and it becomes extremely hard. And if that is the case, your solvent may not necessarily break it out and you may have to get something a little harder such as a pick or some kind of scraper um, and break some of that carbon loose and it's going to come apart in chunks. It won't, um, it's not just going to like wipe away such as some of this newer stuff does. And uh, so one of the questions I get is how often should I clean my gun? And my response to your question is I answer your question with a question and I say how often do you shoot your gun? And if they tell me you know every day, I say every you know thousand rounds or so. Uh, because you're keeping that carbon hot, you're cycling rounds through it, uh, you're blowing a lot of that old stuff out, putting new stuff in. But then I get some guys that say, oh, I shoot it probably every six months. My answer to that is, then every time you clean it. Because you store a dirty gun in its box or case or however, and that carbon's going to solidify and then you're going to have to really get after it to get that stuff out of there. And so really, how often should you clean your gun is how often do you shoot your gun. Um, now that we've got all that carbon though out of here and uh, this gun is not, like I was saying, a catastrophe anymore, it actually looks semi-decent, we're going to, we're going to lubricate. And there's, there's a ton of different lubrications that you can use. Some people say grease, some people say oil. 
Uh, I'm a fan of CLP, which is, uh, it stands for cleaning, lubrication, and protection. You can actually use this stuff to clean and lubricate. Basically, you'd apply it the same way I did with the solvent. Scrub everything down or wipe it all out, and then you would apply it again as the lubrication. It's basically an all-in-one. Um, it's pretty good stuff. Uh, we have it down here. A lot, basically, every gun store is going to have something similar to this. Um, but you just take something like this. And the points that we actually lubricate, I see guns come in, they're bone dry. I see guns that come in, they're sopping wet. And my rule of thumb for lubricating a gun is exactly that, a rule of thumb. If I can touch something that is lubricated with my thumb and just lightly see my thumbprint in it, then you have the right amount of lubrication. We don't want it dripping out of the gun because then it gets into places that it's not supposed to, can gum up uh, the inner workings of the gun and we don't want that. So with this stuff, they, some have uh, application nozzles. I like to do it with my fingers and a Q-tip. Uh, we're just gonna basically apply that in. Um, actually, we can kind of cheat here. With the rails, we can put just a little bit there, just a little bit there, and we just let that run down, and then we will wipe off the excess, the excess. More there. Now places that you should lubricate, basically anywhere that the gun rubs together with the gun, anything that's in motion, your slide rails, um, against your frame, your locking surface on your barrel. Um, nothing in this part of the gun really needs lubrication, like down in here we don't put lubrication in the magwell. You're not going to get super slick fast reloads lubricating your magwell, you're just going to get problems. Uh, the rails here will get lubricated, the top of your trigger bar surfaces will get lubricated, and that's pretty much it in the frame. Your slide, I'm a little more generous in the slide, um, just because you have parts moving. Uh, one way if you don't, if you just have no idea, one tip you can look for is basically wear marks. Anywhere that there's a wear mark, you can see right here where the locking surface of the barrel uh, goes against the slide. Obviously there's friction there, lubrication will be required in that spot. So like I was saying, I just kind of put it on my finger or Q-tip or something, I give it a nice little wipe into there. We don't want to put it on heavy enough that it's running, but we don't want to put it light enough on that it's not doing anything. So you just kind of have to find that balance. Like I was saying with the, the old fingerprint, you can kind of see right there, if you look nice and close, See the fingerprint? That's all you need right there, that's enough. Now everybody on the internet has my fingerprint. <laughs> a little bit here, a little bit there. Right here along the surfaces. For the barrel, I don't lubricate all of the barrel. I lubricate most of the top surface here. We're gonna have a good lubrication right there on the sides. A little bit down here. And then basically just whatever excess I have, I wipe onto the barrel. Coming off my finger. So now we're lubricated up, let's go for reassembly. Drop our barrel down in there. Recoil spring right back in. Make sure our magazine out, take down the lever. Slide and rails go back together, lock it back, close it down. I'm going to run that slide a few times, get that spread out evenly in there. Function test. We're good to go. We're clean. Wipe your gun down. Make sure we don't have any standing carbon on the frame or grip out on the outside. Again, you can kind of see right there on the top, that fingerprint test. Just lightly see that fingerprint. It's not oozing or goo gooing out of there. This gun's ready to go back on the wall. So guys, I'm Jake here at Wilshire Gun. Uh, for other tips, tricks, things like that, make sure you tune back in. Uh, if you want some more one-on-one -on -one kind of stuff, we have fully uh, staffed training department. They can go over a, a lot of this with you guys there. Um, come see us.